बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी द ऑपरचुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन द कंपनीज अमेंडमेंट बिल सर दिस हाउस एंड द अदर हाउस पास्ड द कंपनीज अमेंडमेंट एक्ट 2013 आफ्टर एन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ मोर देन ए डीकेड द कंपनीज एक्ट 1956 वाज रिप्लेस्ड बाय द कंपनीज एक्ट 2013 after a prolonged discussion deliberations with the industry chambers and all the stakeholders after several recommendations by the standing committee it went twice to the standing committee only in 2013 the 1956 act was replaced by companies act 2013 now the act was notified only partially in 2013 and from 1st april 2014 the act was implemented within a period of 6 months the government has come out with several amendments to the act and there are nearly 14 sections which have been amended i do not see any reason for amendment of some of the provisions like removing the threshold limit for minimum capital requirement for private companies and public companies the previous act clearly says that the private companies should have a minimum capital of 1 lakh and the public companies should have a minimum capital of 5 lakh this was a provision introduced to curb the shell companies and to put restrictions while incorporating the companies this has been removed and then there is no capital requirement envisaged in the present amendment for incorporating a company then the next amendment is not making the common seal mandatory the common seal is a seal which authenticates all documents of a company and that is a seal which is required to be authenticated and that has been made optional i do not see any reason for this change then i welcome that section 76a has been added to protect the depositors and to make the offense a cognizable offense under section 447 we have to protect the depositors of course the original section which is section 76 has the provision to protect them but now more transparency has been brought in i welcome it as far as section 188 is concerned where an agreement to be filed in certain cases special resolution was necessary which was very important that has been removed if these provisions can be passed with an ordinary resolution i feel that this amendment is not necessary sir an important amendment has been brought into section 43 of the companies act the present act before amendment has made it mandatory for the auditors to report all frauds to the central government through this amendment a threshold limit has been added now fraud up to a certain threshold limit only will be informed by the auditors to the central government and frauds below the threshold limit will be reported to the company by the auditors and to the audit committee sir i welcome the proposed amendment but with a rider because reporting of frauds irrespective of the amount involved to the central government would not serve any meaningful purpose however some aspects need to be looked into one reporting of frauds 
वेयर की मैनेजमेंट पर्सोनल आर इन्वॉल्व इज बाय वेरी नेचर ए सीरियस थिंग एंड देयरफॉर शुड बी रिपोर्टेड टू द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द अमाउंट इन्वॉल्व टू द ऑब्जेक्टिव बिहाइंड द प्रोविजन कुड नॉट बी अचीव्ड अनलेस एन इफेक्टिव मैकेनिज्म इज इवॉल्व एट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट लेवल टू डील विद द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन फ्रॉड रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम द ऑडिटर्स ऑफ वेरियस कंपनीज वॉट इज हैपनिंग नाउ एंड इवन अर्लियर इज दिस एज फार एज ऑडिट रिपोर्ट्स एंड सी ए जी कमेंट्स आर कंसर्नड द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट और द कंसर्न मिनिस्ट्री हैज टू गो थ्रू इट एंड फाइल देयर कमेंट्स एंड ले दैम बिफोर बोथ द हाउसेज बट आई कैन से दिस फ्रॉम माई एक्सपीरियंस दैट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट लुकिंग इन टू द वेरियस कमेंट्स ऑफ द सी ए जी एंड द ऑडिटर्स बाय ब्रिंगिंग दिस रिपोर्टिंग प्रोविजन यू शुड स्ट्रेंदन द मैकेनिज्म टू गो थ्रू फ्रॉड एंड टेक एक्शन विद इन द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट द प्रपोज अमेंडमेंट शुड ऑल्सो रिक्वायर टू डिस्कलोज डिटेल्स ऑफ फ्रॉड रिपोर्टेड टू द गवर्नमेंट दैट आर मोर सीरियस इन द बोर्ड रिपोर्ट द बोर्ड रिपोर्ट शुड ऑल्सो कंटेन वॉट एवर द ऑडिटर रिपोर्टेड सर द एंटायर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ डिटेक्टिंग फ्रॉड हैज बीन गिवन टू द ऑडिटर्स ऑडिटिंग ऑफ ए कंपनी इज नॉट ए फ्रॉड डिटेक्टिंग जॉब नाउ इन दिस बिल द एंटायर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ डिटेक्टिंग द फ्रॉड और द मेजर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी of detecting the fraud has been put on the auditors the company management should also have this responsibility and they must be liable to improve their internal control system